can go so far that they're reacting to water. You know, we can, you know, it can really be this wide range of, you know, certain reactions to like, I can't, sometimes when I drink water, I'll get a rash or I'll get hives and we have unexplained reactions. So I think we, when we're seeing extremes like that, we also have to take a step back and look at the nervous system. So we start to get some nervous system dysregulation. And that's another aspect that goes on when we're looking at MCAS, because once you start having some of these reactions, we all, we get these pathways that start to react the same way. So we get this fear and this dysregulated nervous system around what am I going to react to? What am I going to react to? And so right. we need to change. So I, I use this example, like if, if you're if someone gave you a rose and you smelled a rose and you thought, oh, that's a nice you know smell that I'm that's enjoyable. And then every time you smelled the rose, they said you have to touch a stove at the same time. And so you'd smell the rose and touch, oh, that's uncomfortable. I don't like that feeling. That doesn't feel good. So you start to associate, okay, I'm not, I don't want to smell the rose. So then they take the stove away and give you the rose back. You're still going to react like, oh, this is uncomfortable, even when that stove is gone, because your body's now trained that this is not safe. This doesn't, you know, every time I touch that, smell that rose, I'm going to get this pain. So we're, we're feeling like we're not safe. And so we get in this reactive place where we're reacting to things we're not feeling safe we're not feeling like we can eat anything or drink anything or do anything without having reactions and so we do do nervous system work too that's a part of what i work on with everyone